here I start it about uh, maybe double the diameter of the hook back to start wrapping. I take the um, the skinny stuff you got here, the oval tinsel they call it, but I can't even tell that's so small, but short, the, the thin stuff. Tie that guy in. Did you do anything? At the that's front. The stuff. Yeah, tie that in at the front. And then if you've got a if you've got a holder for it, you can stick it back there and get it out of your way. <laughs> and once you got that guy wrapped in there, you wrap all the way to the bend of the hook with the uh, with that uh, If you were tying a tail on here, you'd be putting that on at the same time. And you go all the way back to the back. When you get back to, to the bend of the hook, turn right around, go back up to the front again. This guy gets a tinsel body. It gets wrapped on two, direct, two ways to make it, to, to get rid of all the, the gaps. So you take this. <coughs> Oh, yours is silver both sides. A lot of the stuff when you buy it, silver on one side, silver gold on, on the other. On and the these guys call for silver. I, it's so small, I don't know if it matters. But if it does, you have to wrap it on with silver up on top so it'll show silver. But this one, we're going to get silver right over here. So everybody back up towards. You leave, leave a little bit of room up in the front because you're going to need some space in here to, to get uh, three sections of bucktail on there plus a head. So then when you get there, then you take your flat tinsel. Hold on a second. Tie that guy on. All right, I'll wait. Yeah. You gotta wrap this mylar on there. If you let it slip when you're halfway through, you get to do it again. So. Um, a little, little, oh no, no, no. A little yeah. trick on the mylar, especially when you're doing the ribs that you're wrapping back and forward. Yeah. When you wrap backwards, you don't have to have complete touching turns. If you left a little right. space, it right. doesn't hurt anything. Yeah. Is all I'm trying to say. Yeah, it'll still make it work out. Right, because when you come back up the other way, you end up covering up any of those spaces. So, so if you have a gap going backwards, also, don't sweat it. Also, we didn't have to we didn't have to cheat on the length of this, so you got plenty to hang on to. Yeah. If you cut it really short when you get down to the last of it, you got a little tiny tip there, you tend to want to like let it go. Yeah. If you let this stuff go, it looks like a coil spring. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fire this guy back as well, neat as you can, which is not so great for me. How far back? All the way back to the back, yeah. to the bend of the hook where you where you stop the uh, thread in the first place. All the way back there. When you get back there, turn around and go all the way back forward again, like James talking about. You just want to get a nice even silver wrap on the whole thing if you can. <laughs> You have a hard time keeping it from kinking out, trying to spiral it on. No, you, 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 your width is correct. Production tire. Just thinking of speed for production. You'll have to catch up. Okay. So then you got this guy here. Now what Gene is saying is wrap the back, the opposite way you wrap the other one. So you go underneath and over the top. Spiral it up. Gold or silver, whatever you got. And now you're spiraling it, so you're not. They're not. They're. I don't know. I'm, I'm making mine maybe a. A little more than a 32nd or a 16th part or something like that. Just spiral your way to the front. Are we painting this thing? Well, if I was going to fish with this, I'd put I'd put Sally Hansen's on it because it keeps these stupid things from shuffling up. Then when you get up to the front where you were the other one, you tie the same, tie it off again with a couple of wraps, and then snip it off. You, you only want a small, I mean, we're talking about a little amount, you guys, like a little bit bigger, maybe twice as big as the pencil lead. The lead, not the whole pencil. Yep. 
Don't take much hair for this guy. No. In fact, uh, about twice as thick as the hook shank. Yeah, uh, there you go. I don't know if you guys can see it in my picture here. But see, I've got very much hair. Yeah. And I don't stack hair for these guys. I like the tapered look. So I just cut it off like this. And I hold it up part way up here. And if there's any real short hairs, I just pull on to get the short hairs out. Everybody else goes in my quad. Right. Yeah. Now I know uh, D Dean was talking to me about it earlier too, about wrapping underneath this stuff when you're wrapping on to, to make it a single little pack. Usually it's like, they, the, what he told me is one and a half hook shanks. Is that what you get to? For something like this yep. for the length? Yep, for the length. So it's then you gotta just, go, it, it needs to go past the bend slightly. Yeah, pinch this guy on. Well, I like I move quite a bit past the bend. And then pull it up tight on the top. A couple of wraps. You want it to stay up on top. You've got this thing all done like this. You want to cut this guy at a, at a slope so you get a tapered head when we're done here. So I just pull it up a little bit like this. Cut straight across the hook, which I don't have it done tight enough. I wonder. And it makes you take it like that. Gets four or five more turns. Yeah. Now, a neat little trick to keep that bundle snug and tight. Get your thread to the back of your first wrap, then take a wrap around the bundle and tie it again. That'll bundle it and keep that bundle from rolling and separating itself. It pulls it up pretty high on the first one, though. Well, you want it to stand up a little bit. Yours is standing up just right. If you just take a loose, it's just a loose wrap, not a tight one. It helps keep the bundle from sliding over the hook shank itself. Same thing with the with the red, you guys. Same amount of hair. Everything's the same as it was for the for the. Just the wrap under. Yeah, we're ready for the red. Same thing. You're not ready. Well, go ahead. Yeah, we. I take the red to make it you know match about the same thing. You got to put it right up on the top. So on, on, on this guy here, you can come around one time, like he was talking about, and make a loop in it. So you got so I've got it looped now with the with the around my red. Which will hold it together so it doesn't blend in with the other ones. And then wrap it on there. Pull it up tight. See if I got it right. And then I got to trim it the same way. I got to trim it with uh, at an angle, flat to the hook, so that it makes a tapered head. And I've already crowded the head. So we got, yeah, we got the second yellow then. Same thing as the other one. You just got to line it up for what you like. I make it about the same. But, and then put it right up on the top. You're trying to make three separate ones. And again, I do a little loop around like that to hold mine on, which keeps yeah, it bundled less, up. I have less than either one of these. It's okay. Less is good on this fly. Pull, pull, this, out. Out. pull this up. Uh, that's fine. Now lay it right on top. There you go, about the same length as, as the others. Make sure the back is about the same. There you go, grab it with your left hand. Pinch it tight. That's right where you're going to tie it tight. Right in your fingers. Perfect. Make sure you squeeze tight with your left hand so it doesn't move on. And then trim it off like before after you get four or five wraps on it so it stays. Then you just finish this guy off. That's my 22 and my big one. It bothered me, but it's right. Far as I can tell from all the ones I do, pretty substantial so really head. I can mean, get this one very even. Is this supposed to fit shallow? Well, you could weight it underneath if you want. Yeah, you can. You can uh, it's, he's just got wire. He's got solid wire. Now, should I stack this thing? Or should you do it? But see, a nice far swing. That one tie up kind of a fat little head on there that tapers to the front, and you're done with it. You talking about your fly? Yeah. Fly. My head is too, but it I can't do anything about that. I can tie another fly tie better.